Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to adopt devices to a cloud-hosted Unify controller. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up this cloud-hosted controller using DigitalOcean. If you missed that video, I'm going to leave a link for it in this video description. So be sure to check it out. So if we look at this controller under the Devices tab, it currently has no devices adopted to it. So I'm going to show you how to adopt devices to this controller, whereby you'll be able to manage the devices. So there are actually two scenarios I'm going to show you, you know, two methods of adopting devices. So for this first scenario, I have this one AC Pro access point, which connects directly to my ISP provided modem which then takes us to the internet. So we want to adopt this um, access point to our cloud hosted controller on the internet. I'm currently using a PoE injector to provide power to this access point, right? So this method, it's perfect for adopting, you know, one or two, a couple devices, right? And the other method I'm going to show you would be more appropriate for mass um, deployments. So if we move back over to our web browser, I'm going to open a new tab. And we're going to search for Unify Chrome extension. We're basically looking for the Unify Ubiquity Discovery tool, right? And we could see that's the first um, search result there. So if we click on that, uh, it takes us to the Chrome extension. I already have it installed. You may need to install it before you can launch the app. So I'm going to go ahead and click launch app. This basically brings up the Ubiquity Discovery tool. And to see my Unify devices, I'm going to click on Unify Family. And here we can see the Ubiquity um, AC Pro access point. And the most important thing we see is that the status it shows as pending, which means it has not been adopted to a controller. Right? This would be the default state once you do a factory. Uh, reset or anything of that nature. So if we click on action, here we get a little more information on the actions. By default, it's set to set in form, or we could do uh, locate, reboot, restore to factory default, upgrade, etc. We want to leave this to set in form. And here we have the inform URL. So this is basically the address. This is where we tell the device to find our controller, right? So what we need to do is we need to actually edit this to where our cloud hosted controller is currently located, right? So to find that information, we want to, first I'm going to delete, we need to delete the Unify portion of the URL, right? And we're going to come over back to our cloud hosted controller. And this is our address. This is where our cloud hosted controller resides on the internet. Yours would be different, you know, depending on your scenario, right? So I just want to copy the name. So it's demo.democontroller.joshuastechtips.com. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to head back over to the discovery tool and I want to paste it right in here, right? So let me just make sure it's correct. Yeah, so it's HTTP um, demo controller joshuastechtips.com. Make sure the semicolon and the 8080 and forward slash and form is there. Username and password is UBNT by default. So I'm going to leave that as it is and I'm going to hit execute. So now if I head back over to my controller and go on the Unify devices, here, great, here we see we have the AC Pro that's waiting to be adopted, right? So I'm just going to click on the click to adopt option and it presents us with another button to adopt the device. I'm going to click on that. So it just informs me that we need to add a Wi-Fi network, right? Once we finish adopting the device. So if we click on refresh, we should see the status change to adopting. Okay, so we want to give this like a couple minutes, maybe a, a two, three minutes for the adoption process to be completed. So I'm just going to fast forward this video in the interest of time. Mm -hmm. 
All right, great. So we could see that our device has been successfully adopted. We see that little green indicator light and we show, it shows the status as online. So this tells us that our device has been successfully um, adopted. Next, we want to click on the settings option in the lower left hand corner of the screen. And we need to create a new Wi-Fi network, right? So basically we need um, a Wi-Fi network to be broadcasted using this wireless access point. I mean, that's the whole purpose, right? You know, we want to get Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna name the SSID as Joshua's demo. You know, feel free to name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna set a password. And this looks good. And I'm gonna leave it to broadcast on all APs, right? You could go ahead and create a new group if you need. You know, there's a, a bunch of different things you could do here, but I'm just trying to keep this video as simple as possible. Gonna hit add Wi-Fi network. And we can see that it was successfully saved, the Wi-Fi network. And guys, I have other videos showing you how to do more advanced configurations, but this is basically just a very basic, simple video showing you how to get the device adopted. Right, it's currently using our default network, that's fine. Right, and as I said, feel free to tailor this however you like. Right, I'm gonna go back over to the devices and I see it's, right now it's currently on a kind of orange amber state, right? It, it's basically applying the configurations that we just did in terms of applying the SSID as well as the password to the access point. So you see it's back green. If I click on the device now and I head back over to general, we could see the actual Wi-Fi membership and it shows that it's currently broadcasting Joshua's demo, which is the, um, the Wi-Fi network that we just set up, right? So everything appears to be working as it should right now for this device. So guys, as I mentioned, this method of adopting devices is great if you like have one or a handful of devices. However, we're going to move on now to scenario two and scenario two, it basically uses our, if you have a firewall device in your network, such as a USG or a G Dream Machine Pro, you know, it uses that devices to automate the, um, the configuration of the rest of devices, right? So this is our scenario two here. So we have, um, a USG, um, Pro 3, right? We have an 8-port PoE switch and we have our AC Pro wireless access point, right? So these things are connected to the modem, which is then connected to the internet. So in this case, the PoE um, switch is actually powering, providing power for our access point. We don't need to use a um, injector in this scenario. And then this is connected to our firewall, which then is connected to our modem and takes us out to the internet to you know, to meet our cloud hosted controller on DigitalOcean. So as I said, the firewall will be automating more or less this configuration. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So if I come back over to our dashboard, um, we have no devices currently on this controller, right? So what we want to do, we want to do something similar like what we did in the last video. We're going to go ahead and open a new tab and search for our Ubiquiti Discovery tool. I'm going to go ahead and launch the app and select Unify Family. So here we see we have the three devices, right? The um, access point, the switch, as well as the security gateway, the firewall, right? All of them are in a pending status, right? So they're currently not adopted to any controller, right? If by chance you see your device shows as managed, you need to do a factory reset because that device more or less has been adopted previously adopted under another controller and it won't work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the firewall and click action. And here I want to do similarly what I did in the previous video, um, part of the video, sorry. I'm going to delete the unify part and I'm going to paste my address for my cloud hosted controller, which is the demo controller that joshuastechtips.com. The default username and password is UBNT. So we're going to leave those as it is, and I'm going to click the execute button. Now, if we go back over to our Unify controller under the devices tab, here we see that we have the USG um, firewall and it's waiting to be adopted. So I'm going to click to adopt, 
right? And again, adopt device. So I'm, as um, we did in the previous part of the video, just give it a couple minutes for the adoption process to take place. If we refresh, we see it's already adopted. So give it a couple minutes for the adoption to be completed. So guys, remember, if you're getting value out of this video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. So you now notice that we have the two additional devices in our dashboard, right? Waiting to be adopted. That's the access point and the switch. So as I mentioned previously, the firewall, it actually automates the rest of the um, configuration process. So once the firewall has been adopted, what it does, it actually push out the um, inform URL to the other devices that's connected to it. So in this, this case, it'd be the other two devices. So instead of us having to manually input the inform URL, the firewall will do that. So this is great, you know, as I mentioned, for mass deployments, instead of having to adopt each device individually, set the inform URL, just configure the firewall and let it do its thing and it'll help us to automate that part of the process. So next, what I want to do, I want to go to the switch and I want to go ahead and adopt the switch. Right, so I'm gonna give it a few minutes to do its thing as well, right? And once that's completed, we go ahead and adopt the access point. Right, so the switch has been successfully adopted. So I'm gonna click on adopt to adopt the wireless access point. So as I mentioned, guys, this is great for mass deployments or deployments with multiple devices. You know, simply configure your USG or your Dream Machine Pro or whichever Unify firewall device you have, and it would basically take care of the rest in terms of pushing out that inform URL to the rest of connected devices. All right, so great. So it looks like all our devices have been successfully adopted. So we're more or less good to go in terms of the adoption process here. All right, so guys, as I said, um, you know, I have a lot of other videos or if you want to tweak your installation accordingly based on your environment, but this was just basically meant to be a simple video showing you the both options you have when it comes to adoption right we also could use ssh and stuff like that to set the inform url i'll probably do that in a future video to come right so if we click on the topology here we can see all devices have been adopted as expected and i have my computer that's connected to the firewall which i'm currently using for this um, video all right guys so that brings us to the end of this video Remember, if you're getting value out of these videos I'm doing, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released. Also, if there's something particular with Unify or technology on the whole that you'd like to see me doing some videos on, be sure to comment down below and let me know and I'll try my best to get that sorted out for you. As always, thanks again for viewing and see you on the next one.